All right, changing an outlet is an easy do-it-yourself project. Make sure you always turn off the electric to any circuit you're working on. And then always it's just good practice to double check both sides of the outlet before you get started. And here you can see it's off. Sometimes you're going to have either a switched outlet or you're going to have a split circuit outlet. Especially in kitchens, sometimes you'll find two hot wires and, and two circuit breakers actually feeding one outlet. So if one appliance trips a breaker, the other side is controlled by another breaker. So it's always just good practice to check both sides. All right, I'm going to cover two different basic ways that outlets can be wired. One is a middle of the run, which we have here. We have multiple cables coming into the box, and in this case, we've got three groups of wires which are feeding other outlets down the circuit, or we have an end of run outlet, which is just one hot and one neutral. So for this first application, we're going to, we tested the wires, we know that the electricity is off, and we're going to remove the wires from both sides. It's always a good habit if you can't tell, in an older home, if you can't tell the color of the wire. Here I can tell the hot is the dark blue, and we've got white for neutral. But if it was hard to distinguish, it's not a bad practice to find the gold-colored screws and put a little piece of masking tape on the wires going to the gold screws so you know what's hot for the next outlet. All right, as I'm unscrewing this, I can see one thing that happened with this. When this was wired, you can see that this is actually wrapped around the screw terminal counterclockwise. And what can happen when you tighten this, you can actually push off the wire from the screw terminal. So when we rewire this, we're actually going to make sure that the hook is in a clockwise shape so that when we tighten down the screw it's going to actually tighten against the screw terminal. Alright, so we're going to take off the hot wires and then we're going to unscrew the terminals for the neutrals. Alright, I removed the wires from the old outlet and the new outlet is a 15 amp outlet. In most homes you're going to have a 15 amp circuit going to most of the house and you're going to want to put a 15 amp outlet on that. In some kitchens, you're going to have a dedicated 20 amp circuit for appliances, and in that case, you'd want to make sure that you have a 20 amp breaker on a 20 amp circuit. All right, in most applications, if you have non-metallic cable coming into your electrical box or plastic boxes, you're going to have a hot and neutral, and you're going to have a bare grounding wire, which is going to go on the green screw of your outlet. We're here in the Chicago area. We have metal electric boxes and we have metal conduit going all the way back to the service panel and it should in theory be grounded when we connect the metal screws to the metal box it's going to ground it and just to show you what happens we're going to touch one side of the tester to the hot wire and the other side to the metal box and you can see it lights up so it is grounded all the way back to the box for added safety what we can do is we can take a grounding whip and we can screw this to the metal box and to the outlet and it's going to give us an additional uh, added safety feature. So now we're going to go through the steps of how to connect the new outlet to the wires. Alright, so now we're going to wire the outlet and we've got the two hot wires. These two cables actually are connected and they remove the insulation in the center here so it will wrap itself around the screw terminal. And it's always a better connection if you use the screw terminals rather than the push-in terminals on the back of the outlet. So make sure that your hook is going in a clockwise direction as you tighten it down. And we're going to take the hot wires and we're connecting them to the brass screws. And we're going to connect the neutral wires to the silver screws. So I'll connect this for you and then we'll go to the next step. All right, I've connected my hot wires to the gold screws and my neutral wires to the silver screws. And as an added safety precaution, I'm just going to take a piece of electrical tape and I'm going to wrap it around the screw terminals. And this is just a safety precaution for someone in the future if they were to remove this outlet without turning off the electric to the circuit. It just prevents these screws from touching the metal box. So those are the steps, pretty straightforward to replace an outlet. All right, the other way an outlet can be wired is as an end of run. This has one cable coming into the box with one hot and one neutral. Again, we've got the hot going to the brass screw and the neutral going to the silver screw. 
and in this case I don't like the way that this was wired you can see that they pulled too much insulation off the end of the wire and we have exposed wire hanging off the end of the outlet so I'm going to remove these two wires and then we'll strip this properly so that's a little safer connection remove the wires from the old outlet and it's always good to check the quality of the ends and if they're chipped up or nicked it's always good to re strip the wires and give yourself new ends. In this case I just don't like how long the ends are here. There's too much insulation stripped away so I'm going to just cut the ends of these off right down to the insulation and what I'm going to do is with the new outlet they actually have a strip guide on the end and we're going to put it here and mark it and with our wire strippers we're going to cut away just the right amount of insulation and in most cases it's about a half an inch to three, quarter of an, three quarters of an inch that makes the perfect end. Most homes you're going to have 14 gauge wire running off a 15 amp breaker and so with your wire stripper you're going to set it at 14 and that will just pull away the insulation very easily so we just twist it and pull it and now we've got some nice ends on this and then we're going to put a little hook in each wire. Okay so with a needle nose plier we can just grab the end of the wire and we're going to put a nice loop in this and that's going to grab around the screw terminal real well. Alright so now we'll grab the new outlet and what we're going to do is make sure that we take the hot and we're going to wrap it around the brass screw and we put the hook on clockwise so as we tighten this screw terminal it's going to turn itself and tighten around the screw terminal and then the neutral wire we're going to put onto the silver screw and we're going to tighten this down clockwise and that's all there is to it for an end of run and if you have a green bare wire or a grounding wire you would connect that to the green screw on the outlet so those are the steps if you need to replace an outlet